think you don't leave that room. Number one. Get closer. Number one. Number one. Let's go. One right at a time. Hop. Yeah. Big, big back day today. Yeah, dude. So the other day we trained arms, right? It was yeah. good, it was fun. Today we gotta step it up. Yeah, okay. It's like, back day. Like you say. <laughs> I do all. Get ready. You, yesterday you say sushi, I yeah. sushi. Yeah, get ready. Get ready to take flight on the Lunsford Airlines. Yeah, yeah all aboard. <laughs> Lunsford Airlines. <laughs> it's back day, and Pawnee texted me yesterday. I was like, happy 4th of July. He goes, happy 4th of July. Get on it tomorrow. <laughs> no cheat meals, no nothing. Sure. Like, it's go time. So I'm like, oh, let's go. So like, ever since yesterday, my mind's been like turning to where, you know, cause like, when you go from off season to pre-contest prep, yeah. you know, there's a transition period, right? You have a couple weeks to like, tighten the screws a little bit. You just lost some cheat meals and stuff like that. He's like, nope, nope. no more. And I'm like, oh, it's go time, baby. So I always like to start off with some sort of like lat pull down, like pull over or something like that. I want to engage the lats first. And then we're actually going to go on instead of doing just a bunch of machine work today. I want to go do some free weights. Yeah. I want to I want to rip some actual weight on that bar, you know? Huh? All right. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I don't want to play around. I want to do some some good bent over rows and I want to do some rack pulls today. It's not going to be like PR session day because like we're just getting in the swing of things. You did a show like two weeks ago. I'm just now starting my Olympia prep like full go. So, you know, it's, it might not be like six, seven plates yeah. for rack pulls, but we're going to have some, we're going to have a good day today, bro. I, so we're all talk right now in about seven plates is 300 kilos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we're all talk right now, but soon we'll be shutting our mouth and uh, getting to work. Believe me. Like 15, 20. Okay. Probably like 15. 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easy. Just nice, good reps. Try to here, scoot back. Just barely put your knees under there. And then, yeah. yeah, and then you can use your, yeah, like almost like a calf raise. So, like, you use your, like a calf raise, so that way your knee goes up into the thing. So, you should be super stable right here. And that way, your nothing moves except for your lats. Yep. Uh oh. Oh yeah, that back double, it's gonna be nasty. It's gonna be crazy, bro. You're quiet today, bro. No, <laughs> I'm tired, bro. I'm sleeping before lunch. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I have those days, I have those days. <laughs> I do to eat two meals. Yeah. And I go to sleep. <laughs> okay, let's line up. Kind of think about when I grab this thing, I think about almost pulling with my last couple fingers yeah. like this, and like kind of tucking my elbows at the same time on the way down. So I pull like this. Right. Uh, what? Where you? Where you put here? No, inside. Yeah. What? You do both. It just hits a little bit different. So, so if like you, if you bring your your butt forward, like your knees and everything go forward, and then you that forces you to lean back further. So you're gonna be hitting more here, right? Which is fine, you're gonna be hitting your rear delts. You're just gonna hit a different portion of your back. So now scoot back and like stay up. Yeah, yeah scoot your knees back, butt back, and then your chest forward. That's gonna hit more of like that, that portion of your lat rather than back here. It's gonna hit this portion. Especially when you drive the elbows forward in front of you. Yeah, so it's all right here. Yeah, that's perfect. That's how you're gonna get that width. You're gonna get wider this this way. Nice. 
Yeah, you feel that? Those lower lats? Yep. Yep, perfect. Perfect. Nice. Feel good? Yeah. Do you like to lean back a lot and what? Do you do you normally lean back when you do this exercise? Yeah. I don't think it's bad. I mean, it just hits just a little bit differently. What so one thing that I do that a lot of trainers and coaches and and other athletes will say, oh, you can't do that, that's wrong, don't do that. Sometimes I allow my butt to lift up and everybody says, no, don't do that, keep your butt in the seat. Well, in my opinion, in my mind, as long as I'm still feeling it in the lats, as long as I'm still engaged with the lats the entire time, I don't really care, right? So if I'm going a little bit heavier, I don't mind to have a little swing in my hips, like letting it come off the pad, but ideally you wanna keep it secure down there. I prefer for some of this dish for control. I yeah. Prefer this. That and I also I want to be all heavy. I need a strap and regular bar. Yeah. No, I like this too because it it doesn't make your hands fixed in one position this way or reverse. As a matter of fact, I have kind of a, a hard time doing reverse. So I can even flip this around like this. And it just it kind of gives me a little extra angle if if a reverse grip or overhand grip is is tough for you yeah. these are like a lot nicer i prefer yeah okay so that was third the third set 15 reps next set even if i can get 15 we're gonna knock it down to like 10 to 12. Dude, we'll do five sets here to start off. Nice. Nice. Good, 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 good. Keep going. Let's go. Come on, stay up. Okay. Squeeze this. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Those lower lats. Come on. Good. Good, good, good. Good. Especially on like the first exercise when you're just kind of warming up, that lower lat for most people is like the hardest thing to hit in their back. And that's usually what people need to develop the most. So you come in here, you add on like 60 to 75% weight. Nice, good warm up. You engage that muscle. Ah, just try to yeah, first exercise. So then we can go in and do some crazy lifts later. Hey, me está molando mucho. De hecho, estamos haciendo, me está diciendo cómo ponerme también más alejado, más cerca el tipo de agarre, el porqué y ahora vamos a hacer la parte de estamos calentando aquí y vamos a hacer la parte de free work en plan hard vamos a ver I don't know what he just said but I don't believe a word of it ok Man, that feels so good. Wow. That's a great start to today. Good start. Come on, champ. Come on, bro. Yep. 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Good. Perfect. Nice. Yep. Good. We'll do one more set. Yeah. Do you have a, is that what you're wearing all day? Do you have a stringer? What? Do you have a shirt on? Take, take your shirt off, bro. This, sure? is, this is a good shot in the, from the mirror, like this. Bro, I'm thinking about those uh, <clears throat> those barbell rows and rack pulls we're about to do.
I remember that that you say, I don't know what day you say this. Nah, first day here. Mm -hmm. You say on Olympia when you do your front, your front uh, poses. Yeah. People yeah. do. Yeah. And you think, wow, when I my when I turn my back. Try to stay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Try to stay. Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, look at that. And nice. Nice. Look at that back. Crazy, bro. Nice. Come on. Last set here. Last set. Good, bro. It's turning purple. Nice. Pump. Crazy pump. Let's go. Let's go. Good. Ready? Nice. It's turning purple. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Amino Kim, Glycojack, don't click the link unless you want to get small. Like it's really important that you make like the safety bars the right height for you. Because if it's like if it's too high, then you can't get a like a deep stretch. So you got to make sure that it's at least low enough that you get a good stretch. So we'll see. Uh, I kept it at 12, 12 reps. You know, there's like all year I've been traveling, business, social media, whatever. And today, I, like I had to flip the switch finally and say, that's it. My number one thing right now is training. Get the meals in, get train hard. That's, and, and you know, sometimes it's hard because, you know, you have to make money to be able to, to do this. So business is important, but you gotta be able to flip that switch and then go all in for the training. I mean, you know, but yeah. So that, that was today. Number one. Number one. Number one. Let's go. One right Hop. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Come on, nothing. Good, bro. Uh. Yeah. 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 Go, 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 go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Go. Yeah. 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 Bleep us. Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> Thank you, bro. All right, let's go. Olympia. Olympia. Focus. Come on. Focus. You. Let's go. All you. All you, champ. Let's go. Right now. Come on. Nice. Yeah. Want it, bro. Let's go. Come on. Every rep. Come on. 10 to 12. Let's go. Every rep. Nice. Come on. Let's go. Strong. Strong. Come on. Again. Again, bro. 
Yeah. Nice. Bro, good work. Okay, so let me think here. Hmm. I think we should. I don't think we should go to four plates. We could either do another 25 pound plate on each side, or we can keep it right here. And if we keep it here, I want to do cleaner reps or more reps. If we go up in weight, then the uh, the amount of weight is like like there's four ways to stimulate muscle, right? Yeah. Add more weight, add more reps, time under tension, which is slower reps or whatever, and then the distance that the the weight actually travels or the stretch and the contraction. So what I'm saying is we can either add more weight, add more reps, or slow it down, or do all the above. Still wanna do rack pulls. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and add more weight. I think we can handle it. Let's do 25s on each side, and we'll do a shorter set, like a, less reps. We'll do like maybe eight to 10, maybe eight reps. Yeah. And then um, we'll move on to rack pulls after that. Okay. <laughs> Once we start um, getting a little bit leaner, the shape gets like even crazier, you know? I mean, same to you. But uh, this is no lightweight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is how you build a thick back. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Body building is different. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, bo bodybuilding is actually kind of simple. Yeah. You eat the meals, you train hard, you rest and recover, and you come back and do it again the next day. You stay consistent. That's it. 100 times. What? Yeah, bro. Come on. Now, my girl like that. My hands kept slipping. I should have used the chalk over there. <laughs> perfect, perfect. That's, bro, that's not lightweight. <laughs> I think three plates is plenty, I'll be honest. I think we could have stayed at three plates and, and had a great set and, and it would have been good. But, you know, I want to push it a little bit heavier today. Yeah. Change all of the technique. Yeah. So now what we'll do, this is how, or this is what I believe on how I was able to build strength in my bent over row uh, exercises, or like any of my back exercises, but especially bent over rows. Now after doing the barbell row, we will increase the weight and do rack pulls now. So we will go up to four plates and we're gonna do rack pulls. And then we'll probably go to five plates and do another set of rack pulls see where we're at at that point, may do another heavy set, and then we'll go do some machine work. But I believe that doing barbell, bent over row, and rack pulls are the best two exercises to grow strength and thickness in the back. So they're my bread and butter, two of my favorite exercises for back. I'm rack pulls. Really? Yeah. This is Hi. No problem. No matter I do that lift. Yeah. Awesome. So I actually don't ever do deadlifts. Sure. I, real, I used to do a lot of deadlifts, but I'll do stiff leg deadlifts and I'll do rack pulls, but I don't do any conventional deadlifts. Or not usually, I should say not usually. Occasionally when I'm feeling it, but not very often. Hey, come on. It's a great day to get better. Huh? Oh, that's what you came here for. Yep, nothing. Ho! Oh yeah. 
Well, yeah, oh yeah, it feels good. All right, chest up. Both take those shoulders back. Come on, bring those shoulders back. Right here. There you go. All the way down. Here, got to here. Come on. Yep. Oh. Stay. Come on, bro. Rotate those shoulders. All right. Good. Perfect. That's how you grow. Kind of like you, you rotate your shoulders back like this. Like you push your elbows back and your shoulders back at the same time. When you did that and you arched just a little bit, yeah. your entire back lit up from top to bottom. So we're gonna finish up doing the rack pulls. So what that's doing is we're able to put more weight in our hands and get like a like a easier contraction, easier rep, right? This is an easier exercise. But just wait till the very last set and we're gonna put them both together. So we're gonna do bent over rows one more time, super set with rack pulls. Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have told you that yet, but that's what we're gonna do. One of the most challenging back workouts that I do. Each one's challenging, right? You come in here to, to get better and it, and it takes going through challenging workouts, challenging exercises to ultimately build a better physique, right? So I told you at the beginning, we could have picked, you know, three different workouts that I had in mind coming in today. But I would say to build overall strength, build thickness and density, this is the best workout that I, that I have personally. Go. I think this is the most impressive. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna do 10 to 12, but I thought, I was like, you know what? Let's make this the top set. I'm gonna go for 15, I got 15. After this set, we'll back it back down. We'll take a few plates off and we'll do a super set, then over row with rack pulls and then we'll go do the rest of the workout. Whoa, it's hard to get all those words out <laughs> after that set. Yeah, come on. Yes, nice. One at a time, good. One at a time, three, nice, yes. Oh, come on. Yeah, come on. Good, let's go. Come on, finish. Finish strong, bro. Let's go. Every rep counts. Come on, every rep, bro. Come on, breathe. Every rep. Come on. Come on, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Let's go. Come on, keep it. Come on. Yes. One more. Let's go. Strong. One more. One more. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, that's how you get. That's how you get a thick back. That's how you build strength. Yeah. <laughs> Just breathe. I like doing this. It's good. Watch out. That ambition and drive, you just got to do it. And just watch it happen, bro. Like, there's a science behind bodybuilding, no doubt. But 90% of it is just keeping that love, staying in the gym, being consistent. Yeah. And you're doing that. So... As long as you eat enough to, to recover from your training and you're training really hard and you're sleeping enough, you're good, man. Eat sushi. I need sushi. <laughs> yeah. How hard is it to eat sushi three yeah. times a week, huh? <laughs> not for me, for him. I wish for, I wish for me. If I, eat, if I eat sushi three times a week, I would be 300 pounds. <laughs> I would. That's it, bro.
20, and then, and then I did 10, five, five. 20? Five. Ooh. 20 rows, and then 10 rack pulls. I stopped, I did five more, and I did another five. So 20 and 20, uh, 40 reps total. Total time. Yeah. Ooh. So that tells me that the weight was possibly a little too light. Maybe I could have done an extra plate because my goal was to do 10 and 10, but I wanted to get solid reps. So that's why I, I chose to go a little lighter with the two plates instead of three plates. My mistake, because I was able to get 20, which is good, you know, obviously pushing the reps, but I should have added the extra weight and kept the reps somewhere around 10 to 12 or max 15 but i already chose the weight and again they were good reps or they felt really good i should say and um i just did more so that tells me next time maybe i should pick a heavier weight let's go last set this is, good one. this is the good one right here all the other stuff it's in the past it led you to this right here finish strong come on there's Where you get better. Come on, solid reps here. Solid reps. Every rep counts. Come on, good reps here. Yeah. Three, four, two, three, nice. Two, three, four, five. Five more. Boom. Three, four. Five, good, that's it. One, yes, two, three, four, six, seven, come on, eight, yes, come on, nine, ten, let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, five more, five more. One, two, three, four. Come on. There you go. Nice. nice. <laughs> Does that make us crazy when we laugh after doing a, a tough set? <laughs> That's what you call getting better. How was that, Coach Jell Bell? Huh? How was that? That was good. It's so much more fun when you get in here with somebody else that is equally as hungry as you to get better. They push themselves, it pushes me. And so much more fun. And equally as hungry, hungry. Yeah, hungry, hungry too. <laughs> now I'm sleeping all day. Eat and drink. That's how it is. That's how it is, man. When you're when you're prepping for a show, you're hungry and you're low on energy because you don't have much food. So you're tired and at home. And then in the off season, you're pushing more food and you're tired and at home. So you're always tired 
And yeah, but that's just, that's just how it is. That's how bodybuilding is, man. Hey, right, quick tip before we move on from this exercise. When you're doing rack pulls and even bent over rows, but especially rack pulls, you wanna make sure that your first thought, your first movement is rotating your shoulders back and down, not just up or back, back and down. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna keep you from tensing up your neck and getting like a neck spasm. And it's gonna take the slack out of the, out of the bar. So you rotate back and down, you take the slack out of the bar, meaning there's no, you know, when the bar is um, placed on the thing, you, you, you're, you have full tension in your arms and your back. So if you have no tension and you go to pull really fast, that could cause an injury as well. So the first thought is to get tension in that bar by, by rotating your shoulders back and down and then lift your chest up. You don't wanna just think your head. You wanna think chest up, sh ro uh, shoulders rotated back and down. That's the biggest tip I can give you in doing rack pulls. I really feel like there's no sense in once you're already warmed up, yeah. you may as well just go for it, you know? Like, yeah, maybe the first exercise, you go a little, just a, a, a hair lighter, and you get 12 to 15 reps. But I feel like everything we've already done, we're already warmed up. So why am I gonna sit here and do a couple warm-up sets before I do my working sets? I'd rather go right in, do my working sets, and move on, you know? So we'll do a couple sets here, and then the kick. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Yeah, if you do five sets every yeah. exercise, you're gonna get tired before you can even get to your top sets. Yep, not much left today. Not, not much left. Yeah, my back is lit. It's mostly my lower lats that feel lit up. It is lit? Yeah, I mean, I got a really good connection with them when I did the first exercise, but today, those barbell rows at rack tools really did my back some good. And it's it's not the bad pain, it's only the good pain, you know? Yeah. That's how you know it's good and it's working. More <sighs> 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 Oh my gosh, man. Who? Two, one, two, last one. Nice. Nice. Finish. 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 That's it. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Let's go. Last chance. Go Last opportunity. Let's go. Last chance to get better. Come on, so we came here for. Yep. Come on, finish. Let's go, champ. Come on, Olympia. Come on, you know what the goal is. Come on, you know what the goal is. Olympia. Every rep counts. Come on. I gotta get there, bro. Right, gotta get there. Come on, 2024. Come on, Olympia. Let's go, champ. Come on. Come on. We gotta get there. Seven to first. First, baby. Let's go. Come on. Number one. Number one. Let's go. Strong. Stay in it. Come on. Again. Again. One more. One more. One more. One more. One more. Yeah. Come on. Again. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Get some talk. Uh, 
Yeah. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah, there's different ways you can do it. You know, you can definitely the way we're doing it now, we're trying to stay, you know, pretty much parallel to the ground as best we can, we're trying to get the biggest stretch possible. So it really is more for the stretch rather than like the weight that we're using and how hard we can contract it down. Now, if I was standing more straight up like this, yeah. then I would try to get a harder contraction and use a lot more weight. But this one for me is just a finisher, just to stretch the lats out. Low weight? Yeah, low weight, 12, 15 reps, a couple sets, finish the day. Really stretch everything out, all the way to the shoulder. Perfect. Big, big, big stretch. Focus, mind in the lat. Mind in the lat, big stretch. New banana cream pie? Yeah, man. So I just tried this yesterday for the first time. Bro, this is another go-to for sure. Brand new flavor. I don't know if there's any other companies that have a flavor like this. Oh, it kind of reminds me of, um, oh shoot. Oh Gosh, no. Whoops. Oof. Kind of reminds me of, um, like a moon pie. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like yeah. those like uh, little packaged moon pie things, um, which I love them, but it literally tastes like banana cream pie. <laughs> Great day today, man. It was solid back workout. Yeah. We pushed. This was a different workout today. You know, it was kind of going back to my roots, the bread and butter of how, like what I feel like built my back in the first place. Right. Yeah. The free weights, the barbell rows, the rack pulls, just getting after it today, you know, doing like big supersets at the end. So yeah, all in all, it was a great day after the, the rack pulls and the barbell rows, my lower lats were already lit, dude. So then we did a few more exercises just to make sure to hit every angle of the back. Solid, man, solid. I would say this is one of the most uh, intense back workouts that I typically do. I know he was feeling it too. Sorry for my English, you know, people that he's looking here. Um, but I try. <laughs> I want to learn more. He's but... fine English, you know what I mean? I don't know, bro. <laughs> yeah. Look at the next video in Spanish. <laughs> no, <laughs> I speak zero Spanish. What What do you think of the sushi here? Yeah, I really like U umamis. Yeah, umamis. umamis. Yeah. This is so good. All you can eat. Yeah, yeah. All you can eat is, um, and I I learn with with you. <laughs> I, if you write in maps, all you can eat. You look yeah. buffet. So I, I, I like this. Yeah. Because I don't know how a search in, in or find in Google uh -huh. uh, all you can eat sushi. I know. And if you, you write this. That's the best one. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best one. Mom, it's good. It's in St. Petersburg. Yeah. Same. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you said to me yesterday the most important is train and eat sushi. Train and eat. <laughs> you got to make sure that you're eating enough protein and enough calories. Now, ideally, you want to make those clean calories, right? Yeah. You don't want to just be eating a bunch of junk food because yeah. that's not going to help you, you know, perform well in the in the gym. So if you're eating enough calories, eating enough protein to recover from your hard training, then you're going to grow. And if it's clean food, you're going to be healthier. You're going to perform better in the gym. And ultimately, your body is going to respond better and look a lot better. So sushi is a very good option when it comes to wanting to bulk up. It's a great, you know, go-to food. Yeah. But like I said, you gotta make sure you're getting in your protein throughout the day as well. So you can't just be eating whatever yeah. and, and not tracking at least your protein and calories. Yeah. I, I need to say to your video yeah. that we go to <laughs> we went to, to sushi, mm -hmm. but we don't take ice cream or anything. I think you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't don't be lying. Don't be he took ice cream, so did Trevor. I think Martha <laughs> right. did too. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you not not yeah. eat ice cream? Hey man, uh, trying cool. trying to keep it clean for now, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, I think when I go to eat sushi, I like the cream cheese and I like the fried stuff too a little bit, but I prefer the the cleaner stuff like the avocado over cream cheese, 
the just the raw like tuna and salmon over the fried stuff like fried shrimp or fried crab like that's just i feel better whenever i eat that stuff and then i perform better in the gym and that's what it's about like you're wanting to fuel your body so that you recover and then if you get back in the gym and you can keep hitting it hard so that's what i was telling you yesterday i mean the off season isn't it's not too complicated yeah you eat you train you grow i, I learned it. i learned this these days <laughs> <laughs> because I think a lot of the, the I think yeah. a lot, I think a lot of the things. Yeah, uh, you overthink. Yeah. A lot of people overthink. Yeah. You know, and they just really bodybuilding, like we said, is simple. But to put it into practice and execute it every day, every week, every month of the year, it's not easy. Yeah. You know, and that's why you have to love it, and you, it has to be your lifestyle. It's not just checking the boxes and going to work. It's it's who you are. Right. I like this. So I learned this. So you like Tampa? You went to Boca too, right? With Brett? Yeah. That was cool. It seemed like you guys had a good workout. It's different. But I have a problem with, with these areas uh, because I, I'm from Spain and I yeah. need to move to Spain in a year. Right. And this is a problem because the airports is not closer. Yeah. Here you have Tampa and Orlando airports. It's a bigger airport. It's like perfect. Yeah. That's why I love it here because it's an international airport. Yeah. Plus we have another airport in Clearwater. Everything's within 20 or 30 minutes away. Yeah. It's perfect. But you like the beach? The beach was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I think I, um, yeah. that's not too good when I come here. Uh -huh. But now looking, it's too good. The, yeah, it's the, nice. Yesterday is too hot the water. Yeah, it was it's like crazy. perfect. I, I talked with Marta in, the, in my car um, when, I, when we were touring mm -hmm. that is the, the most um, hot uh, water that I, uh, yeah. uh, that I yeah. try in the beach. Yeah, it's really nice because it's the Gulf of Mexico, so it, yeah. it stays warmer. In my opinion, it's the best beach in the United States. Yeah. So, gonna move here? Maybe. I won't try, but I think, I think we should get him to move here. Yeah. And then we can train together. Yeah. And then, hey, his goal is to make it to the Olympia. And I think I think you can do it, bro. USA is difficult, bro. Yeah. You are from USA, but if you are not from USA, <laughs> it's difficult to move. Yeah. Yeah. I won't move, but they should be It's good to have you. So now, what? Next year. Yeah. Next year. All right. Yeah. So so now you and Marta are about to go to, to Vegas, huh? Yeah. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Next Friday. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, you got a great woman. You know that? She stays by your side and supports you in everything. So she's a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> so is that one. He never talks about me like yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. Watch this. Oh, bro, bro, bro. No, no. Maybe you should put it back on. What? Yeah, yeah. Put the shirt back on. <laughs> 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 I think you're serious. <laughs>